All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are going to look at BTC really quick here. So BTC from the last update, you can see we did end up losing our 200-day EMA, our 21.5 here at this box. I did adjust the chart a little bit. I moved everything over to uh, kind of clean it up. It was looking pretty sloppy. I know it still uh, doesn't look too great, but I'm going to leave everything that I have on my BTC chart here. And hopefully we don't lose it because... Um, Pretty much anything we've ever drawn on here has played out and every support and resistance level and box that we've ever drawn has gotten tagged beautifully so we're gonna leave it um so from the last update we did lose 21.5 here and that is not a good sign for btc you can see we do have the 21 curling down toward the 50 ema here so we don't want to see that bearish cross there and then we don't want to see these ultimately pass below the 200 day ema um so if, the, if all those occur, that's a very bearish sign that Bitcoin's probably going down to lower price targets eventually. So uh, the fact that we lost 21.5 in our box there, you can see we're down at our at, uh, our next box, our red box here. So we're sitting right on top of our box at 22.6. Uh, we're currently at 22.3. So ultimately, as long as you hold this box here, we have a chance to bounce and move higher. So we'll go from where we are right now. If we end up falling down here to about 19.8, that's almost a 2% move. If we fall 2% and we lose 19.8, um, then we're going to drop down here to about 19K at our 6.8 and our other little bitty red box down here um, for about a 6% drop. So uh, just watch this box and those prices there to hold. Uh, or else we're coming down to 19k and then we'll just take it from there uh, i would say if we don't bounce at 19k and get some kind of momentum back up then uh btc's probably going uh down to where people are calling for 12k 10k 8k wherever it's going to be even lower probably i don't know um so just keep an eye on those prices to the downside and like i said with our moving averages curling down here um it looks like there's going to be a lot of overhead resistance for BTC. If, if it was to bounce here, if it were to bounce here, rather, uh, we're probably going to come up here to 21.2 and get stuck, and then we'll ultimately get stuck at 21.5 again uh, for about a 6% move up. So we do have all these EMAs here uh, right at this level or coming to this level, so there's going to be a lot of resistance here at 21.5 to get over. So we're probably going to end up doing something like this if we do, in fact, bounce here. We're probably going to come up here in this box get rejected and then probably end up falling off the table or bouncing a second time and getting rejected for a little double top and then it's just going to fall off the table so any of those could play out but as of now just kind of watch this box here those prices and our next stop is 19k so we're either going to 19k or back up to 21.5 to try to break over this heavy resistance to the upside so we'll leave it at that on btc and with that said not financial advice remember to go follow me on rumble and we'll see you next time. Peace out.